Welcome to this episode about how we get started with this course. I will be uploading 4 videos a week regarding HTML5 and CSS3. And in this episode, we are going to talk about what HTML and CSS actually can do, what it is, and what you need to get started with making websites. So what is HTML? HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, which is used to define the text document within HTML tags. We can separate a website in a header, so the navigation of a website, the body, which has the actual content, and the footer, which has some extra information inside of it. So we can tell to the browser that whatever is in between the header tags is the navigation, whatever is in the body tags is the body, and what's in our footer is the footer. So what is CSS? Well, CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets, and it's a language that you don't need to learn in order to create a website. But CSS is basically a design language that is intended to simplify the process of making web pages presentable. And this can be done independent of the HTML that makes up each web page. So let's say that you have some text on a website and you want to change the font size or, well, maybe the background color. This can all be done with CSS. So HTML is used to structure the layout in the browser and CSS is used to style it in the browser. What I would like to do is to look at a couple free text editors and use them to create a website. So whenever we have installed our text editor, we need to create a folder on our computer where we will add images, style sheets, and other HTML documents. And what we can do next is to create a project and open it in the browser. And whenever we're done, we can upload it to the server. It really doesn't matter which code editor you use because there are lots of free code editors. But in the next episode, I will be installing Adam you can use other code editors as well. It really doesn't matter because the output will be the same. I recommend you to use or Adam or Visual Studio Code. A question that people ask me a lot is if it's possible to make websites whenever you're not connected to the internet. And the answer is yes. You can run a .html extension inside your web browser without being on the internet. And this is, well, pretty useful if you're on a long flight because you can work on your laptop for hours long. Another question that I get often is, well, how fast can I learn HTML and CSS? And I won't be saying that you can learn it in five or 10 days because, well, nobody can practice 24 hours a day. Practically, I would say that you should spend a couple hours per day, but it really depends on your dedication and work ethic of how fast you can learn HTML and CSS. So let's go to the browser and I want to show you what you can actually do with HTML and CSS. So let's go to the website of airbnb.com and you can see, well, a bunch of elements that appear on the screen. And at the top, you can see a transparent header, which consists of a logo on the left-hand side of the screen. And on the right-hand side, you can see a navigation. And if I hover on it, you can see a border. And this can actually be done with HTML and CSS because everything that's visible can be done with HTML and CSS. So we can place the background image, we can create a button, we can create input fields, and we can create a navigation. We can also style it to make it more beautiful. But what we're not able to do is to create the functionality. So if we want to click on check in, and another screen appears, but this is done with a different programming language. So what we can do is to create a website of Airbnb or even a different one if you have a suggestion. So let me know in the comment section below. We can style it and make it beautiful just like, well, the website of Airbnb. But we cannot add functionality. And the problem with that is that we basically need to hard code it. So let's scroll down and you can see all the adventures that you can do. These aren't hard coded right here but this is information that Airbnb has in their database and they will just loop through it. During this course, I will explain all the HTML and CSS elements. And this was it for today's episode. And in the next episode, 
I want to set up Atom as a code editor. So if you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.